In this video, we're going to take a look at GPT-4 system message generator and evaluator. This one generates system messages, as many as you like, from a goal that you give to the system. And you enter a sample prompt so that however many system messages it generates automatically, it will also generate responses based on the sample prompt. And on the third step, it will actually evaluate that so we can decide we can choose the best prompt possible. We are pasting our OpenAI API key, and we are giving it the, given the goal of a document parser, which returns only a JSON object with the important information from the document. And as the sample prompt, we're going to enter a document. I'm just going to copy the first class definition right here. Doesn't matter because this is going to be our sample prompt. We are going to review the code for this in detail, but we are generating three system messages, three responses, and three evaluations. That part is coded in the code itself. If you want to generate more, you'd have to just change the code. And then we just click Generate System Messages. We are using GPT-4, so it's going to be a little slower, but the first system message is successfully parsed the document. Anyway, it's going to use each one of these system messages as the system message. Maybe the third one looks the best one to me. Preparing the parser document, please wait. Let's see. So these are all entirely GPT-4 generated. After it generates the system messages, then it sends this as the user's first input. See, the first system message plus the sample prompt gave us this response. Actually, makes sense. This first response was a combination of the first system message and our sample prompt. We get a rate limit error. I'm just going to run this again. This is API being overloaded. It says model is currently overloaded. Again, we have created three system messages. Our first response is ready as well. Class name, methods, looks good to me so far. Our second response is a JSON object as well. But once we have our third response, uh, GPT-4 is going to evaluate this response according to the goal which we have given. So we're going to have three responses and it's going to evaluate. So it's given the first one a score of seven, the second one a score of six, and the third one a score of four. And then due to, because it has given the first one the highest score, it says the best system message has a score of seven. Best system message is the document parser is successful to process your input document extracted all essential information. Please find the JSON object below containing relevant data for your convenience. Which was the first system message that was generated. I came up with this idea to auto generate system messages and responses and let GPT 3.5 Turbo or GPT 4 to evaluate. Let's take a look at the code next. We have three files the prompt maker which was my first attempt in which I have everything hard-coded, including the system message for a program programming tutor, for example. So I'd have to each time change this prompt myself. But it was a good first start, actually. This works well with the GPT 3.5 Turbo. But then I thought of trying to turn it into a more dynamic system, which is the same thing, except this has a dynamic prompt system where the goal and the evaluation is updated automatically. And we are allowing the user to input a goal and a sample prompt through the terminal. This particular one had some trouble with the 3.5 Turbo, I think because I had to make the prompts a little bit more complex. And 3.5 Turbo had some trouble understanding it. That's why when I created the Streamlit user interface, which is just a modification of the prompt maker dynamic.py, in which I have turned this entire code into a class structure. And at the end, I have added the streamlet. It's really not that much of a difference. We're going to go over this code now, but I will make the promptmaker.py and promptmaker.dynamic.py available to my lower level Patreon supporters and the streamlet application to the higher tier. The links will be in the description. Let's start with the promptmaker.py file. We do have to have OpenAI pip installed and import OpenAI. I have defined my API key in my user environment variables. 
or you can define it here just like this i have this line commented out because i already have it defined in my user environment variables and this the next function is to generate the system messages it's called generate system messages it takes in a model name gpt 3.5 turbo or gpt4 takes in a prompt a number of messages this is how many system messages it will generate it creates a system messages list and loops over it and fills the content with the prompt and that original prompt will be this initial prompt you are to write a system message for a programming tutor Exam example system messages and i give it two examples one is a linux terminal and the system message for that one is a screenwriter and a system message for that i have found these from the awesome chat gpt prompts database so this is our original prompt to define how we're going to generate the system prompts this is our first original system prompt right and then we just print the response and then we append to the system messages each response within this loop which was generated which are the system messages then now we need to generate responses based on these system messages we do input a user prompt which is only a single prompt but it can be a list of prompts as well if you want to modify it so we we loop through all the system messages and we are going to get a response set so we initialize our response set to an empty list then we loop over the prompt list but we are only going to have a single sample prompt right and then we enter the system message which gpt had generated and we enter the user prompt so we can get a response which we then can evaluate in comparison to the system message and we simply print that and add it to the response responses list and then we return the responses then our next function is the evaluation process we take in the responses and the user prompt then we define a system message for the evaluation process which says please evaluate the following responses based on quality and effectiveness provide a score between 0 to 10. only provide the score as a number and nothing else don't include any words in your response because we want to be able to parse our response just as an integer that's why it still sometimes fails at this but most of the time it works then we do a kind of mapping over the user prompt and the response then we append to the system message the user's prompt which we had prepared plus we give it the response which we are extracting from our responses list then the evaluation response is just another call with the messages which we have created right here then we try to extract the score from it we print it and we add it to our evaluation scores to find the best score we just take the max of all the scores that exist in that list and the best index is whatever the index of the best score is then we return the best score and the best index we had already talked about the initial prompt this is just to set this original system message for system message generation you can read through this then we define our sample prompts here we are just using a single sample prompt how can i start learning python because since this is not a dynamic version this was the first version this is statically set to programming tutor you can still change it and once we are creating system messages for a programming tutor we're going to test it by asking how can i start learning python we're going to evaluate its responses against these criteria. then we create the system messages using our first function then we create the responses using our second function then we get the best score and best system message index using our third evaluation function then the best system message is the system message from the list the best system messages index which we are returning from the evaluate responses function and we just simply print the best system message which has the score of whatever it is and the best system message is and we print the best system message let's see what happens when we run this we're going to see everything in the terminal we are getting the first system message is a programming tutor yep yeah. and this is our goal second system message and our third system message now we're going to generate responses based on these system messages this is the first response great question and it gives us a list of things to do second one and third one as well are a list and it had rated the first response is nine second is eight and third one is nine and it says that the best system message is this one so 
So now, if you like, you can start using this as your system message for a programming tutor. So this is how it works in a nutshell. Now, next, let's take a look at the dynamic version of this code. Most everything remains the same with this, except that our function, our process has been changed a little bit, including our prompts. For example, now, when we are evaluating, we enter that we want responses to be evaluated based on the quality and effectiveness in achieving the goal, and we are dynamically inserting the goal. And also, with our initial prompt, we are writing a system message for the goal, and we are saying only provide system messages for the given goal. And we are running the, our main process with the main function. The rest of the functions remain more or less the same. I'll quickly scroll through them. So we initialize our system message to an empty string, best score to zero, and then we say while true, we get the user input, enter the goal for the system message creation, and then we ask for a sample prompt so we can use to get responses. Then we are defining our initial prompt to create system messages. Then we receive the system messages. Then we generate the responses. Then we evaluate right here, and then we are actually printing the best responses. And we are actually printing dynamically trying to update the best system response as well. If we run this, we can see this in action. Enter the goal for a system message creation. We can enter a chess playing assistant. And now we need to enter a sample prompt. I'm going to say, what are the best opening moves in the game of chess, right? Let's do that. I just want to mention that currently we are using, oh, we are using GPT-4. Because GPT 3.5 was diverging in its goals. I'm not sure why that was happening. I think because the prompt had become more complex. But GPT 4 most of the time sticks to it. Here's our goal, chess playing assistant and system message for that. This is going to create our three system messages. Here's our second system message for a chess playing assistant again. As you see each time, they're a little bit different. This is our third one. And now soon we're going to start receiving the responses using each one of the system messages. Here we go. It's giving us some opening moves as the first response. Our second response is here as well. And our third response, and it's, it has evaluated all three responses to be equal at nine. And it just, I believe, picked the first one, perhaps. I want you to act as a chess playing master. So it saw that this was the best prompt. Now, actually, all three of times, the responses were pretty appropriate and the system message too. But if you keep running this again and again, you're going to see that it's going to start finding better ones. And then it allows us to continue or we can just break out of it with Control c in Windows. Let's finally review the code for the Streamlit app version, and we'll run it and do a final demo as well. You need to have OpenAI and Streamlit pip installed, and you need to have your, this is going to let us put in our OpenAI API key. This time we are defining an OpenAI generation class. This will take in a model. Here we are defining in the beginning as GPT-4. Then we have our generate system messages, which is the same. If you want to change how many system messages you want to create, you can change it with this parameter, with this argument. Our generate responses remains more or less the same. Our evaluate responses function method in this case remains the same. But we are actually displaying the responses of each function as a markdown. For example, we are printing the system as each system message, each response and each evaluation right here, using sd.markdown. We are getting the best scores and the best index, and then we are defining our main function to take in the API key. And our prompt is, you also write a system message for the goal, example system messages, same prompt as before. You can actually modify this part, actually, I must have redacted this, but you can actually give more examples here as well. Then we get the system messages, responses, best score, best system message index, and result text from the best system message as a score of, right, such and so. And then when we run our main application, we assign OpenAI Gen to our class. And we write as a title, OpenAI GPT-4 System Message Generator and Evaluator. And we say sd.enter your OpenAI key. And then we get out the OpenAI API key with sd.text input. 
of the type password. Then we ask for a goal from the user and we ask for a sample prompt. Then we define a button with st.button. And if the API key goal or sample prompt is not presented, we just simply tell the user to fill in all the input fields. Otherwise, if we have everything we need, then we start a spinner so that we can see that we are working in the background. Then we just simply generate a result using the OpenAI Gen main method. And we just simply write the result. Let's run this again. To run this, make sure you've started a command prompt by this arrow, command prompt. Make sure you're in your right environment where OpenAI and Streamlit is installed. Then you type in Streamlit, then run. Then you need to type in the name of the file a quick way because my this file has a quite the long name. But I'm going to copy it by renaming it and then just paste it here and add .py. After which time, we should launch a local version of this app, just as you see. And now we can get working with it again. I'm going to paste my API key. Let's define our goal as a recipe generator. And as our sample prompt, which is going to, which we're going to use to generate our responses, tell me a delicious recipe with apples. And then all we have to do is click generate system message. Here is our first system message. Please input your desired ingredients in our system message. System will generate a unique and delicious recipe. Second one is we are help you. We are here to help you discover, create delicious dishes. Third one is welcome to recipe generator. Now it's going to generate responses using each one of the message system messages based on this prompt. Our first response, apple cinnamon oatmeal bake. Okay, savor the warm, comforting flavors of this apple cinnamon oatmeal bake. There are quite a lot of ingredients and toppings, instructions. Of course, always be cautious. I don't know how good GPT generated recipes will be, but here we are. The idea of this is to give it a goal to generate system messages and generate some responses and try to evaluate what it thinks is the best system message is. This is our second response, apple cinnamon crumble. This again have quite a lot of ingredients and here are the instructions along with the serving suggestions. We are now waiting for the third response. Third response, cinnamon apple crisp again. I had evalu evaluated all three of them to be 10. I guess they were all very good and it says this is the best system message. In my testing, it actually ends up giving a lot of varied amount of scores, but you can test it yourself. Like I said, I'll be making this code available in Patreon. I'll put the links in the description. All codes, all three of the code files will be available to a higher tier in Patreon. But I'll put both links in the description. Let me know what you think. I hope you found this useful. See you in the next one.